Hey folks, I've been uh, looking for vertical growing options in terms of pre-made uh, vertical towers that I could purchase and implement both here at home and I would also was looking at a commercially viable option to maximize efficiency of space. So this is one tower that you're looking at and I'm going to put it together for you and show you how it works. Uh, these are currently available in Thailand, they're a brand new product. And at the end of the video, of course, I'll make sure that you know where you can purchase these if you're interested yourselves. And in the description, I'll have um, it's Aquaponics Thailand. I'll have their uh, email address and Facebook, and you guys can reach out to them if you're interested. All right, guys, so we'll kind of start from the ground up. You have two options as a base one option being this saddle or boot, the other option being this tub. This is a good sized tub. I'd say it's probably maybe 50 liters, something like that. In any case, if you want to run hydroponics, you can use a you know the base like this and put your nutrient solution and then pump it up into the tower. If you wanted to run a series of these, this would probably be the more practical option. You can uh, run a four-inch PVC through the middle of this. On the bottom there's a two inch drain hole which would sit into your PVC pipe and then of course you could attach the boot or saddle to that four inch PVC and hold it in there snugly. So if you're running 50 of these in sequence that would be the optimal way to do it because then all the water would drain into that four inch and then it could be directed to wherever you wanted it to go. Additionally they have a hole on both sides of the boot if you wanted to further secure that into the ground, concrete, whatever uh, you're using as a base. So lots of stability. Um, surprisingly, you can set the tower up and put it in the boot and it'll stand just like it is. Now if you had a high wind or something it might tip over but they're, they're already made well balanced in terms of uh, their height. It's pretty good. So I'll just go ahead and start putting the thing together and I'll let you guys watch. I'm going to speed it up obviously because it'll take me a few minutes to get it all together, but you'll get the gist of it. So we've got a strong stainless steel support pole. You wouldn't have to use stainless steel. You could probably get away with using PVC or something. Um, but this is what uh, my kit that I purchased came with. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize that. Now inside this bucket, this we'll call it a nutrient bucket, there is a place for you to set that pole to maintain the integrity and the straightness. Each one of these pieces Okay, so you start with the bottom. You'll we'll just slide one of these on here. And then that bottom, that top piece, well, it's top now, but it's actually a bottom piece, will lock in, will lock into its, to its partner here. And I'm, I'm trying to do this by myself, guys. I only have two hands. but I'm gonna to need to manipulate it with both hands to get that to pop into place. But that's essentially how it goes together. And then of course, each top piece has these holes in which you can place your net pots. This is your water in and out, I believe. That's how that would work. Well, it actually wouldn't be the water in, it would actually be only the drain, because the water in coming from the top is gonna to be coming through here. Either way, the water is going to gravity feed inside this system. Now, whether or not you, there's, you know, it doesn't matter how you get water to the top of it. You could pump water inside this stainless steel piece, or you could run an external feed tube um, to the top, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. When I get around to plumbing it up, it's whatever is going to be easier for me to connect the pump to it based on pipe sizing is the way that I'll go with the feed. But you've got multiple options for sure. If you're running a great number of them in series, then obviously you would feed a main feed line from the top and run it across 
uh, all of the, ter the towers. Alright, here's what the tower looks like when it's sitting on the boot and you'll get another extra, now of course you can run these things as high as you wanted to, but I'm not that tall and I could just about manipulate those plants without having to get on a ladder and that's the end of it, so, but that's because I'm short. Taller guys might get away with going one more high without having to use a step ladder or something. The point being, you do comfortably get an extra set of four plants, one extra stack on the boot if you're not setting it on top of the feeder bucket the nutrient bucket okay now that being said what, what you're looking at right now holds 20 28 plants for me to grow the same number of plants would require two of these rafts and you can see well you can't see because the camera's too close but you can see that it would take a great deal more room to grow the same number of plants on these two rafts. So I could grow, I could use four of these towers in the same number of square feet and get four times the plants than I could on just these two rafts. Here is the tower completely uh, finished. I would just threw a pump in the bottom of the reservoir and decided to do this hydroponically for the time being. And I just pump it up to the top. And the water just gravity feeds down to the bottom and back into the reservoir. Uh, I didn't have the right size net pots. All I had was these two inch net pots. But they sit deep enough in there and they're getting moisture to the roots. And that's going to work just fine. Uh, I've got 50 of these on the way guys that are going to go into the large aquaponics project. Uh, if you want one for yourself, you can get them in Thailand. They're also looking at exporting options, uh, the U.S., Australia, Europe, etc. So they will become more and more available. I'm very pleased with the product. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Um, they're easy to put together. They're easy to take down. They're lightweight. Move them around. UV resistant plastic. And for about $130 is what they're going to cost you. Of course, that's in Southeast Asia. Once they export, they could be more expensive just because of shipping costs and taxes and everything else. Uh, I find it to be a very uh, a product that's worth the value based on the competitions and what they're offering. This thing holds 28 plants uh, in about an 18 inch wide footprint. 18 inches by 18 inches is what each of these uh, crosses represent. So if you're interested in aquaponics, you're in Thailand or Southeast Asia and you want to get some materials or uh, both large and small projects, uh, Robert's the guy with Aquaponics Thailand to get a hold of. I'll provide all his contact information in the description. And I mean, I've used them. I've ordered uh, around $10,000 worth of materials from them. Uh, 50 of these towers and uh, multiple fish tanks and Venturi siphon, or Venturi for air and all that good stuff. So he's got lots of stuff. He's a good guy to do business with and uh, go check him out. That's it for now guys. I will do an update. I have a large update regarding the uh, commercial size aquaponics system. There's been a lot of changes and I will update you those, update you on those shortly.